Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Kelly May. She's a Senior Extension Associate for Family Finance and Resource Management. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Christy. Thank you for having me on here. Thank you so much for being here, Kelly. I always learned so much from you. And now we are going to talk about some fun things, um, specifically some fun things we can do this summer without breaking the bank. I, I know a lot of us are yearning to get out of the house. Now, whether that means travel far away or travel in your own town, uh, I think either way you can have lots of fun without spending a whole lot of money. And I know a lot of people did outdoor things during COVID too, um, but as they ease some of the pandemic restrictions, it's still a great place to be because you know it's safe, uh, you know it doesn't cost much, and as the crowds kind of migrate toward these more public places, um, it's still a good place to go and explore. And there's so many beautiful places in the state, in Kentucky and nearby that you don't have to drive far to get to. Um, so a, a couple of these ideas are our first uh, kind of a fun and healthy, fresh idea is to visit your farmer's market and orchard. A local farm, some farms have petting zoos. If you have little kids, that can be a lot of fun. Uh, so, uh, you know, orchards and, and uh, farms aren't just for fall festivals. They have lots going on in the, in the summer months as well. Another outdoor idea is to visit a park or a nature preserve. Uh, Kentucky has wonderful state parks. Uh, there are many city and municipal parks, um, nature preserves with hiking trails. So you can hike, bike, pack a family picnic, just use that playground. Um, whatever it does for you to relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of nature and not be cooped up in your house, <laughs> it's a good way to get out. And another idea is to find something involving water. So you might visit your local swimming pool or a splash park, or there's lots of fun to be had at lakes and rivers and even creeks and streams. So anything you can do to cool off when it gets hot in the summer, and it doesn't have to cost a lot. There are lots of places you can go that um, have a minimal cost or are even free. Definitely. The options really are endless. Now, Kelly, what about some activities in a city or an urban setting? Right. So uh, one of the things you can do in a city, whether it's your own city or a nearby city or even a faraway city, is to kind of explore the downtown on your own terms and at your own pace. And a lot of cities, especially those with a historical side to them, will have a walking map or a tour, or um, some cities even have a recorded tour you can listen to as you walk. Um, some will have guided tours, like uh, a couple of times I've done like a ghost tour in a town. It's something that's kind of fun and different. Mm -hmm. um, so just depending on um, what your safety level and your tolerance is, if, if you're willing to uh, be in a group or want to be on your own, there are options to do both if you just look around and see what's available nearby, and you might be surprised what you might find in your own town if you do one of these tours. Um, another thing that you can find in the more populated areas are the attractions. So the activities we think of when we think of a, a trip or a vacation or a, just a day off. So like a zoo or amusement park, a museum, or even a factory tour. There's some very interesting uh, industries in Kentucky and a lot of them offer a, a tour of how they operate and it can be really fun to explore how that works. So um, to, to save that money, just be on the lookout for discounts and off peak times where you can go maybe for a little bit less. How can we be safe while doing all of these activities? keep that awareness in your mind. So you, you still want to avoid really large crowds. Um, keep a little bit of distance if you can. Um, you may or may not need to wear a mask depending on what the guidelines are at the moment. Um, it's, it's always safer to eat outside than indoors, but you can use your own best judgment for that. And of course, wash your hands frequently. So just kind of um, check what the, what the guidelines are before you travel and look up the website for the place that you're going to see what their rules are and if they're different from where you're coming from. And so many great ideas. Thank you for being with us today, Kelly. If you are watching and would like more ideas for summer fun without breaking your budget, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and we hope you have a great day.